they'll never compete against each other, but the Pleasant Valley girls and boys cross country teams have certainly created quite a running community between themselves, not only in meets, but also in training. And their mission statement is to run with perseverance and purpose. And today, both win the MAC championship. It was awesome. This is like the best race ever. Oh my God. I'm like in shock right now. <laughs> well, obviously, I mean, you guys just came in bang, bang, bang. I mean, uh, how does that work? That was, oh my God, that was so awesome. Like, that was great. I don't even know how to, like, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just like speechless. This team is so awesome. And I'm so proud to be on our, like, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Speak to the obvious depth, you guys, and uh, where that's taken you this year. It's crazy, and it's going to take us all the way to the state championship. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it. How fun is it to talk in those terms that you're, you're thinking a really big thing? It's, it's great, because I know we can. That's what's so awesome about it. So it's going to be awesome. Where does the boys' team fit in? You guys really kind of feed off each other, and maybe you're each yeah. other's biggest cheerleader. Um, they're all, like, I'm, this whole, like, cross-country program is so awesome. Like, I can't say anything. Like, it's awesome, and they're going to do just as well as state, and I'm super excited for them. We're just like a huge family, and it's so cool. Mm -hmm. How has that created great things, even in the off-season, uh, the number of miles you put in the summer? Yeah, kind of it's great. We all work so hard and push each other because this is why. Like, this is what we work for every day. Mm -hmm. What's the key now? I mean, you celebrate now, and then you get ready for district. I mean, what, what do you, what's the mindset as you get ready for uh, the really meaningful time of year? Yeah, um, just every day, make it count, and make every race count, and just do whatever you can, and do it for your team. That's why we're so successful. It was amazing. Think that was not what I had expected. It was really cool. So, yeah. Tell me what the key was out there. I mean, how aware you guys were of each other too as you're going through the court. Um, we noticed that, like during practice and during our past races that we're all so close to each other because we have so much depth as a team, and so we knew that we could like use each other for confidence and push each other along and so that helped us out a lot. Mm -hmm. Where does all that fit into training and stuff like that too that you're just rubbing shoulders with so many good runners? Um, it makes us just want to like it, make, it motivates us to go faster and and it kind of shows like, what it's like in a race to have people always like right next to you and stuff so. When you put a shocking uh, display on like this, knowing what's next, the district and state too, what's that do for your confidence? You know? um, of course it boosts it like a ton. Um, I really think that we can be undefeated and I'm just really excited. So. Mm -hmm. Talk about the energy the girls have too. I mean, you guys generally care about each other, you can tell too. It's uh, kind of the intangibles, pretty big part of this team. Yeah, totally. Um, we just like, we're just such a, like a great team. We just bond so well together and yeah. Mm -hmm. What about the boys too? I mean, do you guys feed off each other? It seems like you're both cheerleaders for each other too. Yeah, we totally are because like even outside of cross country, we just like hang out together and stuff. And, and since we see each other in school all the time, we're just like one huge team. <laughs> How special is it that you guys kind of form your own community that way too? That it's, it's not a running community, it's a running to win community. You know? Yeah, it totally is. It's just like it makes running so much more fun to know that you basically have like a whole bunch of like friends just with you all the time. Uh, my plan was just to take it out and see who came with me and you know I uh, heard my coach yelling and my, the teammates was doing, my teammates were doing great and they were really uh, backing me up and so I knew at that point you know we were, we were pretty set in that race you know the two mile went through a little slower than we would have liked so that's when I kind of knew. Mm -hmm. about two under such high expectations I mean you've been on everybody's radar since day one too how do the guys have, uh, cope with that? On my team? Yeah. Oh uh, we well, think uh, the respect level has probably gone up. Um, but also just you know to, to to show them you know that hey this is the ability I've been blessed with and so they accept me for that and it's really fun to just have fun with them and goof around so I don't think it really affects our team that much. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's next you know as you guys prepare for districts and state and stuff too uh, mindset wise prayer wise and uh, physical wise too what's what's key over the next couple weeks? Uh, prayer wise definitely just praying you know um, humbleness thanking God so much for the abilities that He's given not only me but my whole team and um, injury free. Uh, physically, you know, we've put in all of our workouts, we'll probably do a couple, but uh, really we'll just kind of maintain where we're at and just really come in strong for next week. Tell me about, too, I mean, where the girls team fits in with all this. You guys have created this really fun running community. I think you kind of feed off each other. I definitely think we do. You know, the girls, they're a really fun team. You know, they've all been blessed by God and the Lord as well with abilities. And so um, them, uh, it's really fun just they goof around a lot more than we do. So uh, sometimes I wish, you know, we could be with them, but 
really feed off each other. You know, they're having a successful season, we're having a successful season. So, um, really, just this whole community of, of greatness. And PV as a school has done really well this year um, as a whole with athletics this fall. So, it's just been a fun atmosphere. Tell me where maybe the training fit in that, uh, you know, you're probably tripping over the girls uh, during the summer months too and say, you know what, uh, that, that motivates me to, to really put in the mileage too. Um, yeah, to see other people working hard really does. Uh, does help you to, to go and say hey, other people are doing it too so I'm gonna train hard as well um, also just uh, staying in the word getting by my Bible that's that's a huge part of my training as well and always relying on the strength of the Lord to propel me and so um, that staying with that and keeping that in balance with my running and knowing that everything that I do it comes from the Lord so I give it back to him what are you focused on right now uh, out of God's Word too that's uh, really helping you as a runner Really just the, the grace of God and how much I am relying on Him whether or not I realize it and that um, that just He is so evident in every way and if we just open our eyes to it and He opens our eyes to it, that we just let Him come in. Um, in Galatians, the verse is really popping out in Galatians 2 to me is um, just that, that when when Christ comes in, it's not Christ living through us, it's Christ that is, that is us, that we die and He really comes in. So that's what really has been uh, on my mind and heart a lot lately is that Myself is dead, and it's not inviting Christ to say, Christ, come in me. It's, Christ, you are me, so, so work in me. I was definitely really special. I was, I was hurting during the middle of the race, and I saw they were hurting, and I was just like, we got to go. This is MAC championship right here. So it felt really good. Talk about how the race unfolded uh, as you were rubbing shoulders with your teammates, too. I mean, uh, did you see it kind of unfold as, like, you know what, we, we got them where we want them, or, uh, you know, th there's a lot of work to be done? <laughs> Actually, after the first mile, our coach was standing there, he was like, you know what, we got him first place, we just got to keep rolling like this. And I came up to one of my buddies, Andrew Dixon, and I was like, you know what, we got this, we just got to keep moving up. That's all we can do is get better. And that's what we did. Obviously, we got some fun stuff coming up with FCA, a big uh, kickoff on Saturday. What's your encouragement to, to kids to check that out? Uh, you know, just come out, let's have some fun, you know, and um, just experience the freedom of Christ and show them that, you know, it's sometimes uh, Christians, believers, uh, we get this brap of like we can't do anything and uh, when really the freedom is in us and that you know you can come here let's have fun let's eat some hot dogs uh, let's really show you that you know innocence and the the re renewed and new bodies we've been given in Christ we can really glorify him